Here, I will introduce how to use ND Bootstrap Time Picker based on Bootstrap 4 in Angular 8. As for how to set Bootstrap 4 from the project creation stage, please see how to set Bootstrap 4 environment in Angular 8, which I have already published. This time, we are going to download such a preset project from GitHub and then proceed with incorporating time picker into it. For the contents of the project, we see the full source code. First, download the full source code of the project incorporating Bootstrap 4 from the GitHub. The URL is https colon slash github.com slash old slash ng8 bootstrap 4 initial. When the page is displayed, click the green Chrome or download button on the right. Then the round out address will be displayed. So click the copy icon on the right and copy the address. Open the command prompt, move to suitable directory and paste the copied address in that directory for in git chrome. Then the download will start. Next, enter the directory of the generated project. Start Visual Studio Code, type code dot. Once VS Code startup, Press Ctrl plus backcode to open terminal window and type npmi to install the required libraries for the project. This process takes some time. Next, check if the project can be launched. Type NDS-O. The browser will open automatically with drop downs and drop ups. OK. At this stage, make a backup of the source before change. However, since it is not necessary to backup related libraries, we are going to extrude files under node underscore modules. Since I have already included guardfile.js for such backup. We are going to ex execute it. Type guard-m initial. The dash m option is the string to be added to the created project name. Next, create a project for time picker test. Type gulp m for time picker. Next, open the file explorer. Copy the created time picker test project together with the directory and Paste it into the appropriate directory.
and change the directory name to ng8 bootstrap full time picker. Then open the command prompt and change to this directory. and type code dot to open BS code. Once BS code starts up, press control by code key to open a tiny window. Next we are going to change the contents of the project. First, change the project name. If you open the package.json file, you can see that the project name is ng8 bootstrap 4 initial. Change this to ng8 bootstrap 4 time picker. Click the search icon on the left to replace the source of the entire project. Next. There are Pascal cases that it that are separated by capital letters, not dash. So change large and g8, large bootstrap four, large initial to uh, to and g8 bootstrap four pick time picker. Next type npm i to install the library again. This process takes some time. Also check if the project can be launched. Type ngs dash o. The browser will open automatically with drop downs and drop ups. Okay, next open the site of ng bootstrap and refer to the sample program of time picker. The URL is https colon slash slash ng bootstrap dot github dot io slash hash slash home. Now click on the demo button and click time picker from the left menu. And the global configuration of time pickers is this rate. We are going to import this setting. First, click on the code button on the top right to display its source. First, copy the ESML sentence. Go back to BS code. Open app.component.html file in source app. Paste the copied ESML file here. Also, command out, pull down, and pull up related parts.
Return to the browser and open the file of TypeScript. First of all, it is necessary to add an import back. Go back to VS Code and open app.component.ts file in source app. Paste the copied import path here. Go back to your browser and copy the provided spot. Return to VS Code, open app.component.ts file and paste the provided spot here. Return to the browser and copy the constructor, port and etc. in the class. Go back to VS Code, open app.component ts file and paste the constructor and etc here now go back to your browser and open http colon slash slash localhost colon host the 200 but time picker doesn't appear it seems that an error has occurred Display console information with Ctrl plus Shift plus I key. It seems that ng model is the cause. In order to use ng model, we need to import old module. Go back to VS Code, open app.module.ts file, and import old module. When we return to the browser again, there are no errors and the time picker are displays. Okay. However, it will be a little bit difficult to enter numbers. So we are going to display spinner. Return to VS Code, open app.component.ts file and change config.spinners equal to Return to the browser and confirming the display. Spinner is now displayed. OK. Next, hide the second column because we don't need to display it. Return to VS Code, open app.component.ts file, change to config.seconds equal false. When we return to the browser and confirm the display, the second field is hidden. OK. Next, we are going to display the Distinction of A, M, P, M. Return to VS Code. Open app.component.ts file and add the line config.meridian equal to. Go back to the browser and check the display. AM PM button is added. OK. However, if we keep this, we do not know whether the time data can be acquired, really. 
Therefore, we are going to display acquisition time data on the screen. Return to VS Code. Open app.component.html file and change it to display acquired time data. In particular, add a single line pre selected time time JSON pre. Return to the browser and confirm with the display. Equation time data has been added. Okay. However, the time picker is left justified and the balance with the acquired time data is not good. So we are going to correct that. First, divide one line by the ratio 5 to, to 5 and display in it in the center. Go back to VS Code, open up the component.html file and add the div tag. Return to the browser and confirm the display. The display a numerical letter is missing. Therefore, in order to widen the central display width, we're going to divide one line by the ratio 4, 4 to 4. Return to VS Code. Open app.component.html file and change the ratio. Return to the browser and check the display. Okay. Thank you for your watching.